All right, special video, take off the watch for this. I'm gonna need the range of motion. Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today, I'm gonna be showing off some of my rings. Not just this one, but my other ones, because I wear a lot of rings, and some of my necklaces. Uh, this video is gonna be a little disjointed because I may have put it off just a little bit. I wanted to make a video about my jewelry. Chat said, well, you should do it. And I said, I will. And they said, okay, well, maybe this year, it's still this year, so enjoy this video of me going over my jewelry and showing you um, most of it. I mean, it's it's a lot of, I just have like boxes and it's not, this isn't the most organized situation, but it, it's something, right? We have a second camera angle, so you can see him right down here. I don't know, either way. Um, I did it this year. You asked me to make a jewelry video this year. It's still this year, so enjoy and you're welcome. And I'm sorry, but also I'm, I'm not. It was a little sunnies. Also, I didn't have time to do my nails before this. Um, and when I say I didn't have time, I mean, I just didn't do my nails. So I guess the focus will be on the jewelry. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so I have a lot of jewelry. I have uh, well, a decent collection. Oh wait, this isn't jewelry. I'm not gonna say what this is, but it's not jewelry. I have a decent collection. I've been wearing um, rings and necklaces and bracelets and stuff like that for, and nose rings and earrings. I mean, we've been getting into it for a little while now, a few years at least been wearing a lot more jewelry and I wanted to just kind of take some time to show you some of my favorite pieces that I have and maybe shout out some of the companies that I shop from so you can maybe know where I'm getting this stuff because a lot of the time people on stream will be like hey where'd you get that and I'll be like I think it's from here like for instance this necklace I've been asked so many times because I wear it so much um it's from crafted London I love this chain I wear it all the time it's like my daily chain crafted London so this is a chain that I got as a gift Recently, Jenna got this for me for Hanukkah. This is my new big thick boy chain. Um, and I love it. I love it so much. I love the orange part. It's like dipped in orange and it, ha it has such a fun accent, but it's a very chonky thick boy chain. And I really like it. I believe this is from, oh, it says right here, Heron Preston. I was gonna say Heron Presley. So I'm glad I looked. Heron Preston, really fun new chain, got that. Um, this guy, you know, it's really helpful when they just say the name. <laughs> yeah, this one says it too. Uh, this is one of my reflective pearl chains. It's got like a, it's got uh, like a regular chain and then it's got reflective pearls and it, reflective meaning, check this out. Like you take a photo of them and they light up like safety equipment like that. Like if you're wearing like a safety vest at night, you know how they have ref reflective qualities. Same thing here. I don't know why, but I really like it. I wear this one a lot. It's really fun, really enjoy it. Another little chain there. This is a, a matching bracelet from Rare Romance and I really like it. It's um, It's got the same reflective pearls, super cool, fun bracelet. Over here, this is um, a piece from Clocks and Colors. It is a little revolver, which actually goes perfectly with my Bep Revolver t-shirt. Look at that, what, what a coincidence, that's crazy. So you can have actually the fastest draw in the West when you uh, when you wear this one. I really like this, this little piece, super cute. Then we have this guy, okay, this is gonna be one that sounds like I'm gatekeeping it, but in reality, I'm fucking not. I just don't know how to get this. Um, we went to Japan many years ago, many, many years ago. And when shopping at one of these cute little shops, I found this and his name was Tiny King and I love him and I've had him for so long. I even got him kind of before I started really wearing jewelry. He's super cute and I love him. So I, maybe someone in the comments will be able to ID him. Not like he's buying alcohol, but like identify where he's come he's come from. Maybe if you could buy it online or something. Maybe you search Tiny King, you'll find it. Okay, this one. This one has gotten a lot of attention. This is a piece uh, I really love and this comes from a company called Vitali. It's like Italy with a V at the beginning. That's what, how you find it. Uh, and it's a cute little chain that locks this little padlock on it. Someone, not someone, but multiple people in my chat said it looks like a day collar, which at the time I didn't know what that was. Now I do. It's not a day collar, but I, you know, thank you, I guess. It's a, it's just a cute little, little piece. I really like it. This one feels pretty quality. It's got like, um, it feels like the padlock could be like a real padlock. It's like heavy, but yeah, you can kind of see the, the little name right there. That's how you. That's how you spell it. Like that one, that one's relatively new. This guy, I think this is a rare romance one. Uh, it says chaos. By the way, if you watch this and you're like, oh, I have suggestions for a piece that you might like, I've seen, like hit me with the suggestions. You know what I mean? I love finding new stuff, but this is just kind of the stuff that I've accumulated over however many years. And yeah, so this one says chaos. I can put it on. It, this one actually I wore with a, a black collared button down and people said I look like a priest. 
Super fun. I like that one. It says chaos, you know? Yeah, this is a close up of my crafted London. This is the one I wear all the time. Love it so much. I would say like some of my first main discoveries for brands were like Crafted London, uh, Clocks and Colors, Rat Betty. Those are some of my primary brands that I shop from. And then there's um, other kind of one-offs that I've shopped and wear specific things from all the time. Like uh, one of those is um, Studio Cult. I'll get into Studio Cult when I show you my rings, but Rat Betty, dude, love these guys. Look at this cute little business card they sent. Love Rat Betty, I love Rat Betty. Uh, this, they have their pieces come in these little bags. So if you order a ring, it'll come in this in this bag. And I had one of these laying around. So I recommend don't leave them laying around if you have pets. Lonnie ate one. She's fine, she threw it up, but that was fun. I guess she really likes uh, Rat Betty too. This is another Clocks and Colors piece. It's got this cool little uh, candy skull on it. Pretty fun. This is also, I believe, Clocks and Colors. But yeah, this guy, this is, is a really fun pendant to wear. I love him. It's just sometimes I don't wear him on stream because he's very loud. Like he hits his hat a bunch because they're not attached, but really, really cool piece. All right, moving on. We have somewhat of a Stormbreaker situation here. This is also, I believe, Clocks and Colors. If you're a Thor fan, Stormbreaker, kind of, similar. It's not exactly, but it looks very similar. And I actually got this before I was really like super into Marvel. So I got this and then upon watching all of Marvel, I was like, oh my God, I have Stormbreaker on accident. So super cool, Clocks and Colors. Um, this is a cute little Lego man pendant from a company called Thrifty. Really like this company, super fun. They uh, they make really playful, I guess, nostalgic type pieces like this. This is just a little Lego man looking guy. Yeah, I, I would say like, my pendants are not in my everyday rotation. It's more of like chains. Like this is, I guess, te technically a pendant, but like the thick chains are the ones I wear every day. Cause I just, I guess my style has kind of favored those lately. So yeah, you know, you didn't ask, but that's some details. This is also thrifty, like a little, uh, little video game, old school video game monster looking guy on a chain. He's a little pendant. I like him. I like, I like th the thrifty pieces that are three-dimensional, not like flat pendants. I like when they're like actual items. I don't know why, but I prefer those those ones. So these are awesome bracelets that I bought. Um, I've shown these on stream and I've linked them. La Lumiere, I believe is how you say it. I will, um, I can just fact check that in a second, but this is um, a really fun style of bracelet and La Lumiere, New York. Yeah, new, uh, La Lumiere New York Custom Jewelry. 1973, okay, so uh, these you can still buy, uh, the Pro Row and the 1973 bracelet, and I believe uh, the proceeds go towards Whole Woman's Alliance. Whole Woman's Health Alliance, a nonprofit dedicating to providing abortion and reproductive services for women in all states with the least access to care. So yeah, highly recommend you cop in one of these, really great cause, but awesome, uh, awesome piece nonetheless. So these are two little bracelets, and then it just comes with, you can get like whatever, you can stack them, they're really fun to stack. So I just got a green one. Let me stack that. All right, on to the rings, which um, I forgot if I said this, but I've I've misplaced a good amount of my fucking jewelry. Like a lot of my jewelry, I don't know where it is right now. And it's really frustrating, but I think it's just, it's part of having jewelry. You just kind of don't know where stuff is. That is not a ring. This is not a ring. These are not rings. Okay, so first and foremost, I guess, got my wedding band recently added to my hand and collection of rings. This is from Tiffany's, thanks to the wife. I would say like most of my rings are just like, I got from these cool online jewelers. And then some of them, I guess are a little bit fancier, but I don't have anything too fancy to be honest. This I got at Macy's, it's a Gucci ring. <laughs> I was like, I like, it says GG's. I like the branding because it looked like it's, it looks like it's a GG's. This is one of my favorite stackable rings. So I'll put it on like on top of my ring finger rings like that. Enjoy that one. I'm just going to keep adding them to my hand. So this is one of my favorite rings that I own. And I've talked about this one, but this is from Studio Cult, okay? It's the wing ring that has a halo on, halo ring on top. This one probably gets the, some of the most attention. People are like, whoa, what ring is that? Cause it is actually a super unique piece and I love it very much. I wear this one all the time. Although, fair warning, don't wear this on days where you have to like be active and like grabbing stuff or carrying stuff or putting your hands in your pocket and grabbing, cause this will catch on like everything. So it's, it's fun if you don't have to do anything. Uh, this guy, oh yeah, depending on the weather, I can sort of fit him on, but he's just like a little chain link guy. That guy's cool. Forgot about these guys. This is another uh, pendant I forgot. I forget where it's from, I'm sorry, but it's a cute little double-sided pendant. I'm just gonna put on a bunch of them because they'll, shouts out to the, to the one spot because they're all from the same company. So you'll be able to be like, oh, those are all one, whatever. Okay, 
This this whole hand right now is clocks and colors. Okay, so I have, I'm almost sure. This horseshoe guy, this little gem one. This is actually a tattoo machine, but it looks like it's saying LA, which I like. This is a little lightning bolt, another white gemstone, and then this is a little um, hot air balloon. And I th I'm pretty sure these are all clocks and colors. Most positive. So anyway, yeah, super fun. I like these guys. These guys have more chonky, kind of uh, substantial, heavy pieces. If you're looking for lighter, smaller, maybe more um, lower profile jewelry, I have some other suggestions here for you. I'm acting like you're shopping at my store. Uh, Rat Betty, I fucking love Rat Betty. I love Rat Betty. I wear this ring basically every day because it is an uh, identifier as to my lifestyle and what I do and how I live my life like a true rat so i have the rat ring i also have these awesome stackable rings which i'm putting on right now it's the glasses the eyes and the mouth with gold teeth absolutely love this series right here this is three separate rings stackable and i love it super fun big fan of these guys um while we're on the rat betty i wanted to show you a piece that i just recently got maybe you'll understand why it's recent but it's this one right here i'll wear the jewelry upside down so that you can read it but it's a stackable series and it says engaged and married uh and they sell them as individuals or you can get both to stack like that but um i got myself this pair as well as uh jenna and they stack really nicely because it's like a design that um they're flush you see how they like sit flush with the face of the design so yeah big fan of these guys super cool oh it fits on my um this is a newer one it says lucky and it's a star um it's similar to one of my other rap pieces that is in the shape of a horseshoe like this except uh it says unlucky which i that is currently one of my misplaced rings which i'm trying not to panic about because that is one of my favorite rings I own, but I think it's somewhere. I don't think I lost it. I think it's just like in a pocket or like in a bag somewhere. But yeah, um, I love their uh, horseshoe style rings. I think they're so cool. Oh, and then this is a, this is just a little cowboy on the ranch on my pinky right here. Yeehaw, cowboy with the, the moon in the background. But yeah, this is basically a, a Rat Betty advert. I love them so much. They're wonderful. They're based in the UK. Super nice people make incredible stuff. I just feel like when you're wearing their jewelry, it's like, I don't know, it's unique jewelry and it's really fun to wear, but it really does feel like they put love into it. So shouts out to them, big shouts out to them. Now let's see if I can get all these rings off. And I'll definitely do a part two if you like it. I don't know, I, this format is kind of weird. I just kind of set my cameras up. And to be honest, this is a little bit of like a lazy format with my cameras. I didn't like do it in the other room with like a table. I just figured like, let's just do it here. But it is the holidays, so whatever. I'm allowed to be lazy. I don't know where this guy's from, but he's kind of cool. He's like a little skull. This is an adjustable ring, so I can put it on any finger, which is cool. This, I get so many questions about. This guy. Um, the reason I get questions about it is because it makes noise and I'm fidgeting with it on stream, on stream all the time. And you flip it around and you can read the secret message, but you push it in. This is how it works, right? It sits on your hand, push it in and you click it, push it in, click it. And it's great if you're a fidgeter or if you have ADHD or you pick your nails, you have whatever, like if you need an anxiety ring, something to like keep your hands busy, love this one. It is from, I can't find the name of this, but I will find the name of this by the time this video goes to Caleb to edit. So shouts out Caleb, we're gonna edit the name right here, okay? This is the name. All right, moving on. Um, this is also Rat Betty, a little late to the party, but it's uh, it's a stackable ring. I got a couple of these. Uh, I had one for my pinky, but I gave it to my cousin. So she has that now and I need to get another one, but they're really great to stack. They just have little stars on them. This is a little ring that I thrifted. You can see it up close right here. I don't really wear this one too often, but it reminds me a little bit of a ring owned by Jimmy McGill, given to him by his late friend, Marco. That's why I got this ring. I got it at a thrift shop. I don't know, it's maybe hella old. Someone else wore it like 50 years ago, but I like it and it's, um, yeah, it's nice. Last one here for my pinky. This is uh, Thrifty, I believe. This is Thrifty. It's a smiley face, depending on the orientation you're holding it. And then this is a ring that sort of fits the little screwdriver ring. Anyway, this screwdriver ring right here, uh, um, depending on <laughs> the weather, sort of fits my ring, my finger. Um, it's made by a YouTuber um, and the company is called Yetch. And I think that's how you pronounce her last name, Simone Yetch. I always said it Gertz, but I'm an idiot. So um, super fun ring. I also love the fact that her videos are really cool. She does all these really awesome creative, inventive videos. And this is her new, um, I guess, venture. She like launched this little jewelry line. So I like that one. This is a ring. Um, this might be a crafted London ring. 
I, I feel like it's crafted London. This is them. Anyway, this is my jewelry. All my jewelry. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this uh, this was thrown together. I made it last minute, but chat wanted me to make a jewelry tour video this year. And I made a jewelry tour video this year. And I made it with plenty of time to spare. I have like 20 something hours left in the year. So when I tell you I'm gonna make a video this year, I mean it. It's This is a 2022 video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed looking at my jewelry. Again, a lot of it is missing because I don't know where all of it is, but who cares? Because I'll make another part. Either way, thank you for watching. Um, I miss you because I'm not streaming this week, but I am just chilling and enjoying my time off. So I hope you're doing the same. I hope you're getting to have some uh, relaxing vibe time right now. And I hope the holidays are going okay for you. And if you're struggling, I'm sorry. Internet hugs for you. I'll be there for you on stream next week so we can vibe and hang out. I also wanted to say that I am working on quite the setup for Truck Sim because my goal in early 2023 is to become a internet trucker. Wait, I'm gonna be a truck simulator YouTube. No, I'm a truck sim main streamer. Streamer who only plays truck sim. I'm gonna be a virtual cam boy wearing a trucker hat at his fake driving setup at home. Either way, truck sim is coming and it's gonna be really dope because I have a full setup now. It's not gonna be half-assed like I've been doing it. I have all of the equipment. In fact, I even have a radio that I'll be able to communicate with my fellow truckers on. Um, Chaco and Reed are gonna be doing convoys with me. It's gonna be a fun thing. Anyway, I just wanted to tease that because I'm setting up my new virtual truck rig for stream soon. So look forward to that. Anyway, happy new year. Love y'all, Dink fam. Thanks for everything. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.